do you see the whole Rwanda policy issue, which is going to be, we know, a very important issue this year and election year? Well, uh, having just listened to Charlie's astonishing defence of the government's uh, procurement policy, over the, I'm dying to hear what he says about Rwanda, but because this is a total shambles of government policy. And, and let's just look, deal with the numbers first, Daisy, and then talk about the policy in general. So there are 200,000 claimants, um, of which the government claims to have cleared 112,000. Of those 112,000, 4,500 are regarded as too complex cases. They haven't been cleared. And 35,000 are what are known as unresolved cases. Unresolved cases are people who have sent a letter or the government or the government department has tried to find them and has failed to find them, and they have literally vanished from the system. So the 112,000 figure is already 40,000 off. It's a complete fudging of the numbers. And there are another 100,000 people whose applications have yet to be dealt with. So this has been, in terms of the Home Office and in terms of government policy dealing with refugees who are already in this country, it has been an absolute unmitigated failure. And it's a failure born of Rishi Sunak a year ago, almost to the month, coming up with his five pledges and claiming he was going to be able to solve this problem. James Cleverly, the Home Secretary today, said he could stop the boats coming across over the next year, and Downing Street has refused to back that. So there's not even an agreement now between Downing Street and the Home Office about what to do about people who are coming into this country. And Rwanda, well, yes, for a start, if they are going to try and send tens of thousands of people to Rwanda, actually the capacity of the Rwanda Migrant Centre, which is a bizarrely called Rwanda, the Rwanda Hope Hotel, which is going to be somebody's sense if he were coming out, <clears throat> that capacity is only 10,000 people. So they can't deal with the overflow anyway. But of course, it's not going to happen because the government now has got a leaked policy from a senior lawyer saying that legally this won't work. Now, so the British public may regard this as a major subject or it may not. We'll see at the next election whether this or the economy is the really big topic. But if they do regard this as a serious topic, and they probably do, how are they supposed to judge Rishi Sunak and the government he's running, which has contradicted itself, is fudging the numbers and has no real solution? The Rwanda policy was invented to appease the Tory right. The bill that's going through Parliament now will be proven to be illegal. It won't be substantiated when it goes back to the courts. The House of Lords will block it anyway before an election happens. The whole thing is an absolute shambles. And it's the shambles of this Prime Minister's making because of his false boasting a year ago he could do something about it, which he's failed to do.